on the flip side i like poch he knows english football like really really well has good cup runs he's a possession based manager also employs high high pressing really entertaining big games this season and we have two cool really good like south american stars could be really good to have poch in there <laughs> like they know how I to manage i was wondering these. who the second South American Dude, stars. Dude, Nicha and Garnacho, like... Yeah, no, I, sure my mind went to Anthony, bro. I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Nah, <laughs> Miss Sanders, fucking magic. Now that Eric Ten Hag is on the, his way out, who do you think will be our new manager? I think Pochettino is going to be our new manager, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's a project, he, like he's one of those guys who can like build a project from the start. I mean, Tuka can probably build with like a team already there. But I think this is written for Pochettino. He detoxify a little bit and I think he'll get the right profile of players. And... If, if that really happens, like what is his love story, bro, from 2015? It, does, does it really take nine years for a manager to come to where it goes? That'll be funny. Uh, Sid, any interesting takes? Um... I'm actually doing some digging on this and I think uh, I would go for Kieran McKenna. Um, so, the reason I say that is because this guy, he has won back-to-back promotions from a team that was in the third division of the English Football League. Um, mm-hmm. He knows how it is at United to work at United. He's worked under Mourinho, he's worked under Ole, and both of those managers have rated him very highly in the time that they have spent with him. He is a young manager, he has some good uh, ideas for how he wants his team to play and and people might say you know that he's very ex- inexperienced he doesn't have a f- proper job at a proper team in the Premier League but even if you look at Arteta for example that his first real job was Arsenal and till now if you compare just from a purely coaching experience McKenna has a lot of coaching he's been a coach for about 8 or 9 years till now in, in a career I was like cut short as a player because of injuries. So he is somebody who is young, he is somebody who is energetic, he wants to do well. He's a United fan from his childhood. He is probably somebody who will also be easily moldable by Ineos given like you know how he doesn't really have a set style of play for if you compare like Poch or Tuchel for example who would come with a fixed philosophy in, in mind, right? So I think it's a good match that is that can happen if Ineos get somebody who is willing to work with their ideologies as well and like find a way of playing together and be a long term manager like Arteta is doing at Arsenal for example. So I'll go for McKenna. So much. Basically, you think uh, Art- McKenna is our Arteta. Is that where you're going with this with this shout? Arteta is a McKenna bro. <laughs> Arteta is a McKenna. <laughs> wow. oh, bro. Oh, oh, no, no, fans here today. Uh, oh, oh, over to you, Neerav. <laughs> <laughs> After that hot take. Michael Carrick. Let's go. Middlesbrough. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> we have a love affair, bro. We did get Ole from Middlesbrough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, but seriously, I mean, I've, I've said it like long time back. I think Tuchel is perfect. But just because like, uh, uh, he can play a possession style football and he can also include that, you know, high intensity football. He can do both. Tactically, he is like one of the best players in the world right now. Um, he has uh, the respect of players because his man management is really good. You can see like with the Chelsea players just being super sad that he got sacked. Um, I, I mean, Anime should disagree, but I think his man management is like really good. Uh, he has the experience of winning the Champions League, which is huge. He has the experience of actually winning leagues too in France, which is easy, I get it. But like still, he's won a cup. At, he's, won a, he's won something everywhere he's gone, except for this season in Bayern. But then Bayern has been absolutely bad and still he was able to compete with Real Madrid. I think it was yeah. just a very, like, he could have won that game very easily. Like the yeah, goalkeeper let him fast. down. The referee was yeah. sad, goalkeeper let him down. Things happened. But his teams are so strong. Some Like they, they focus on ball retention. They have precise passing, they have counter-attacking, they can do anything. He builds a team just like, kind of like what Arteta has built right now, where there, there are different tools um, and he can do that. And I think he's never gotten an opportunity to build a team yet because the type of clubs that he's been in, PSG, again like ready-made team, you don't know exactly like what Thomas's own input was there. Um, Bayern Munich again, like not, he didn't have the opportunity to build it from scratch. Borussia Dortmund, he did and he did pretty well with the side that Klopp left after like so much success. So, um, I think he's he's going to be perfect. He also has the 
uh, communication skills. He has the. He knows how to deal with the media. He he's just perfect in all ways to manage the responsibility that a Man United manager has. Um, so yeah, I think Tuchel would be perfect. But in yours, do I? I have a strong feeling that Ratcliffe sees Tuchel. Uh, but I also weirdly feel like Pochettino could be appointed. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he, they won't appoint Keenan McKenna. I don't think he is ready for uh, uh, a United type of role. It's just too much of like United coaching head coach position comes with way more than just the head coach position. Unfortunately for United, it comes yeah. with way too much pressure, and I don't think he has the experience right now. We can see Ten Hag didn't have the experience, even though he managed for so long. He was a Bayern Munich second coach. He went to Ajax. He managed a young team. But he also didn't have the experience. Kieran McKenna hasn't had anything in management yet to do that. I could be wrong, but I think United need a safe pair of hands right now. Yeah, yeah. Nirav just wants Tuchel because he's managed Kai Havertz. That's, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> the point. That's, that doesn't you make know, any sense. Did win the CL point. You, you see a lot of clubs going for these like new names. You you see Liverpool going for Agnes Lord. You see Bayern going for Company. And this is, I think, the weird juncture in the managerial season, like so far in so many years, that we are seeing old tried and tested managers sort of decline. You see Mourinho decline, and you see Klopp leave, and you see uh, there is a vacancy, there is a demand for new people to come up and shine and like become the new big names in the managerial world. And I think hmm. that's a good approach for clubs to take if they want to truly, you know, build. A long-term squad, a long-term philosophy to take. So, I see what you're saying with Tuchel and Poch, but these are again managers who are not really in the start of their career. They have already proved things elsewhere, and they would not, you know, they won't be a long-term fix for United. They will probably be a two-three year fix at United at best. So that's the only reason I would still go for like a young new manager who is not yet proven. But you back him, you back the manager, you give him the right structure at the club, and then see what happens. Like that's exactly what Arsenal did with Arteta so well, and you see how Arsenal is like really like playing beautiful football. So that's that's my reasoning for McKenna. And I would I would be happy if McKenna comes into the. I do, but there are a couple of differences there. The two differences I can think of is that. Um, Croenkes had already been there, so they already had the structure in a way ready. They knew exactly where to invest, what to do. They had been with the club since 2007. Ineos is absolutely new, you know, absolutely yeah. new in football. In I mean, they had a couple of other clubs, but in this level, absolutely new in ownership. They need a pair of hands here. I, that's what I think. I think they need someone who knows, who has the know-how of the Premier League and like European competitions. So uh, getting a new manager in could also backfire. It could also be really good, but United is a different club, right? In that way, United and Bayern yeah. both, I think. Bayern also appointing Wilson Company would uh, give a lot of confidence to United going in for McKenna. But um, both are different clubs. If if Company or McKenna can't take the pressure of being in those kind of clubs, it's different. Arsenal wasn't that. Arsenal was, I would say, was a big club, obviously. But not at the level of United or Bayern. Like being very honest here when it comes to, and I don't care about that. It's not. It's nothing to do about like respect or anything. Because Arsenal no, have that's respect true. and they have the streets. But when it comes to media management, when it comes to the legends, there are so many United legends just standing on top, just waiting, seeing Paul Scholes is there sitting, people are sitting, Neville is there, everyone's commenting on United here, there, everywhere. So the managers have to be have to have that strong. Otherwise, they'll eat you up. Unfortunately for United, that's a scene. But it's I think too big of a club for their own good. Sometimes it's, it's too big of a club for for their own good. And I would love to be proven wrong with a new manager. That would be very interesting. But I just don't see that happening. Right. I mean, from Ineos's perspective, a... they probably need someone with a who can come in and do a quick fix, like quick return to the Champions League. Give a two-three year contract and fix a lot of things behind the scenes. Bro, our stadiums is stadium is a shamble. Like they have to reinvest, <laughs> fix all of the, like some of the Ooh. things that like you don't expect of Even a very yeah. of a very high elite sporting organization. Some fundamental things are not there at United, right? Like so they need to fix that. They are also like learning the ropes of like how to do this. Changing culture doesn't happen overnight. So 
bringing in an other very fresh faced manager into all of this chaos might just backfire so much that uh, Tuchel or Poch is our easy options out there where we can go we know what we can get from that relationship and another point said that i was thinking of was arteta was a forced decision they sacked emery midway and they had to go get someone that would fit the bill at that moment because going into the season they probably didn't think that they'll fire emery mid season and get arteta there. so it was it worked out during mid season but we don't sack early into the season right like we could have sacked ten hag early into the season and probably gotten someone but that that quick fix is over now we need to like really think through what we want to do i get scared for mckenna because i want him personally i want him to go to brighton and prove himself because that will be a perfect stepping stone for him less pressure he can actually go work out the squad is really nice it's not like an ipsw ipswich Ips- Ips- switch squad it the squad's better brighton has been proved in the premier league so taking that up would be a lot more exciting than jumping into chaos at chelsea or united so for that reason yeah dude and brighton will support like transfers and stuff right like they already know the scouting networks set up i think like this such a good fit for him like for yeah. his but see i agree with a lot of the things you said right and and i think the profile of united managers like there's a lot of man management and it's not just managing players right and this is managing up like your owners this is managing with like a new structure right you have like new director of football new style of play probably and probably like new academy coach right so there's there's a lot of things are changing and i think the next appointment has to be somebody who has really good communication skills because to translate it out all down to the pitch dude i think that's what it comes down to like scouting motivation culture like the kind of football you play right and like who you're going to bring in next year and like what are your ambitions looking like i think there's a lot of communication and i think this is where ten hag sort of falls short and i i think in i see it where you know all these english boys they they're tired of the eh. <laughs> this boy <point. laughs> right and, and he is rigid and he is very rigid in you know how he how he talks to the media how he handles players right and in chaos rigidity is okay because at least you know what to expect from somebody and it's not just like okay my emotions are all over the place but the way he was rigid and i don't and like the clear communication barrier sancho playing a cl final right and us just not doing well and no players being available it's just it's just not a good sign and i don't know if tukul's the right man again like for me it's like the question comes to that is tukul the right guy to lead all these conversations where he's only worked in a place where all these were set up before like right and he's managed superstars in a, you know you have mbappe messi all these boys right he's, he's played with big players harry kane before uh, harry kane again now musiala there's there's big boy, there's big boys in there like that he's managed and united yeah. don't have the caliber of these players at all at united like zero we have zero we have exactly yeah. zero players of that quality no big boys yeah so and all of the pseudo players who think they are good are probably leaving the season like yeah. rashford casemiro casemiro is leaving yeah they're probably so, all like heading so up, it raises so. a question for me right like is tukul the right profile of uh, manager that we need and on the flip side i like poch because you know when he was in tottenham like literally had to build a squad up all the way from the start he knows english football like really really well uh has good cup runs and he's a possession based manager also employs high high pressing really entertaining big games this season i, I don't know i just like and we have two south cool really good like south american stars uh, could be really good uh, to have poch in there <laughs> Uh, do it, it it does make it does make no. a difference like they know how to manage I was wondering these. who the second south american Dude, star Richard is Richard Garnacho like yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure my they... mind went to anthony bro i got scared <laughs> so so nah, <laughs> miss sandro's fucking magic he wears a magic hat when he saw old trafford he said i fancy that he uh, really have... signed for arsenal <laughs> फॉर मैन यूनाइटेड 
that's not bad if they don't want me anymore i go somewhere else to win trophies that is what i do